I'm Anil Kumar. I'm glad to see that many of you are watching my videos closely, posting great remarks and excellent questions. Now your questions make my channel a very special one. I would like you to subscribe to my videos, share my videos with your friends so that they also have a look at these beautiful questions provided by you. Now in this video, we look into a problem which has been posted by Ashwarya. Ashwarya, thanks a lot. It just comes in time when I was making video for another related question which is extremely challenging. Let's begin with your question now. When polynomial p of x is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 3. When polynomial p of x is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 5. Find the remainder when p of x is divided by x square minus 3x plus 2. So the first statement always says when polynomial px is divided by x minus 1, remainder is 3. It means the value of polynomial at 1 is 3. Correct? When we say that the polynomial is divided by x minus 2, remainder is 5. That means p of 2 is 5. Correct? Now, we need to find the remainder when it is divided by the quadratic term, which is x squared minus 3x plus 2, which could be factored as x minus 2 times x minus 1. Correct? Now, to solve such question, we are going to use the division statement. So we could write that the polynomial p of x is equal to some quotient which we don't know times the divisor which is x minus 2 times x minus 1 plus the remainder. Now since the divisor is quadratic, remainder will be linear. So I'm taking this as ax plus p. Correct. Now the point to be noted here is that this particular remainder is linear remainder, right? Since divisor is quadratic. That is important to note. Now we need to find Ax plus B. Basically, we need to find the value of A and B. Now what happens if I substitute x equals to 1? So if I substitute x equals to 1, I get p of 1 as equal to quotient, let me write 1 here, 1 minus 2 times 1 minus 1 plus a plus b, right? x equals to 1. And we know p of 1 is 3, correct? We know this is 3. So we could write 3 equals to all this. Now 1 minus 1 is 0. So we get our equation a plus b equals to 3. Do you get that part? So this is a very critical step here. And now we are going to substitute x equals to 2 and see what happens. So then we get p of 2 as equal to quotient where x is 2. 2 minus 2 times 2 minus 1 plus x is 2. So we get 2a plus b. And p of 2 is 5. So we get our equation 5 equals to 2a plus b. Is that clear? So we have two equations and two unknowns. So now it is simpler to find the value, right? So let's number these equations as 1 and as equation 2. So what happens if I do equation 2 take away equation 1. So if I do equation 2 take away equation 1 5 take away 3 is 2. 2a minus a is a b minus b is 0. So we get the value of a as equal to 2. 
perfect once you get the value of a then what we can do is just substitute the value of a in 1 so so we could write 3 equals to 2 plus b so what we did here was substituted a equals to 2 in equation 1 so if you do that you get the value of b as 3 minus 2 equals to b or b equals to 1 so we get b equals to 1 and a equals to 2 that gives us the remainder perfect so therefore the remainder is what so a x plus b was our remainder we have found the value of both a and b a is 2 so we get 2x and b is 1 plus 1 so that becomes the remainder in the given scenario so i hope ashwarya all the steps are absolutely clear so we begin with the division statement and the key is that the quadratic divisor can be factored and these factors for substituting their values we, go, we do get the value of the polynomial and we can therefore find the remainder. So, so that is how we do such questions. Now I'd like you to watch the next video which is based on a divisor which is quadratic but which cannot be factored in the domain of real numbers. So that will be an amazing question on this topic. But I hope this helps you for your own test. All the best and feel free to write your suggestions and views. Thanks for watching and posting this particular question.